is all about on the water. So we're going to stick that ski on the water and show you how to do it whilst you're out there. Okay, so we're going to launch the ski now. Okay, a couple of things. First thing, obviously, don't take your chain or your strap off until you've backed it down into the water. Okay, the amount of skis we've seen end up on boat ramps, and uh, yeah, you don't want that to happen. So, let's take our chain off. So, first thing, make sure you screw the little nut back in, because you don't want to lose your D-shackle in the water, because then you won't be able to find it again. Okay, now the strap. So, it's got the little lock on the uh, ratchet here, so we pull that up a little bit, pull it back, and now we can start winding it out. Now if it doesn't want to take off straight away, just put your clip back on, give it a little nudge, and then it will take up that slack. Again, pull the cord and slowly roll it out. Just push down like that, that'll pull it up a little bit. You can clip that onto there so we don't lose it. And just slowly bring it off the trailer and then obviously walk it round the beach. Okay, distance rules guys. Remember 60 metres for jet skis. Just behind me here, we've got a 30 metre boy for boats, 60 for jet skis, okay? Now, let's just have a look at it. We've got a yacht that's anchored in exactly line with that 60 metre buoy. So from me to here, if we're within that 60 metres, six knots. So luckily here, we've got some signs. Maritime Safety Queensland have put signs in here to help us. Now, not everywhere is gonna have signs, but read the signs. 30 meters for boats, 60 for jet skis. Okay, so it's up to you to make a decision on how far 60 meters is, okay? So you have to take things into consideration. Like, let's have a look at that yacht. Let's say that yacht's gotta be at least 12 meters long. So let's do five times. Five times from end to end, that boat from the shoreline to it, that's how far 60 meters is. If you've got another way to, to, to think about it, like when I was a kid, I could sit, kick a football 60 metres. So that's how far I work out that 60 metres is. You have to do it. These distances are here for your safety and everybody else's safety. So remember, make sure you stay that 60 metres away. Also, obviously, findable offence. You don't want to be doing over that speed, you will pop a fine. Let's talk about 60 metres. It's there for your safety and everybody else's. We get within 60 metres of the shoreline, swimmers, uh, wharves and jetties, anchored vessels, bridges with pylons, okay? If we get within that 60 metres, we must slow down to six knots. If not, it's a findable offence. Let's talk about freestyling. Freestyling is classed as any erratic movement. Now let's talk about that rule, okay? If you've got a house within 100 metres of the shoreline, you must be 200 metres out, okay? So it's technically, sometimes you could be 300 metres from a house, but that depends on how close it is. If it's within 100 metres of the shoreline, 200 metres out for freestyling. Remember, there's different areas where we can and can't freestyle. There's different areas where you can and can't take the ski. Where do we find that information out? Maritime Safety Queensland's website. They'll have it all on there. There are some places you can't even take a ski. There are some places you just can't freestyle. Okay, let's get on the ski. So when we're at the beach here, we need to spin the ski around. We don't want to start the motor when it's in shallow water. What they recommend, and check your uh, manufacturer's recommendations, but at least a metre of water underneath you at all times before you start that engine. So we spin it around, hop on at the back here. So I push myself out, one foot up and push out. Once I drift out a little bit, then I can start the engine. Make sure there's no swimmers. There's not, nothing around that you're gonna suck up. No weed or anything like that. Remember, six knots on the way out. Wait 60 metres from the beach. Wolves, jetties, anchored vessels. We've got to be six knots. Six knots is how much? 
11 kilometers an hour, but technically a brisk walking pace. So we've been out for a day, and now it's time to get it back on the trailer. Okay, so we're going to manoeuvre the ski back round to the trailer. Okay, so we're just pulling the ski back up onto the, up onto the trailer a little bit. I'm going to grab my, my strap here on my hook, give it a little pull up. And now it's already in lock, so it can't go anywhere. So now I can just come up, I can wind the ski up, and we're all safe. Don't forget, now's the time to put the chain back on. Okay, so we want to make sure that safety chain's on just in case our strap does happen to break. 